On behalf of Expert Village, I'm Debbie Reeves at John's Design Center, and I'm here to tell you about custom picture framing. Now I want to put the second mat on. We're going to do the double mat. So what I do is I take my mat here, I put it upside down. This is my bottom mat. I put it upside down. Take my pencil and again we determined that we were going to make it a quarter of an inch. So I want to make sure that these go back exactly the same way I, I'm going to cut them. So I make a little mark on both of them, line it up and I'm using a little quarter inch spacer. And I put that right on the, in the opening and now I can mark so that when I cut this second mat, it's going to fit on top, underneath the top mat absolutely perfectly. So you don't have to worry about if both outside edges were exactly perfect because you are going to know that the inside is going to be perfect. So now we have the same little marks as we had before. We're going to come back here to the mat cutter and we're going to cut this exactly like we cut the single mat. Eighth of an inch past on both way, both sides. So it's pretty easy to do the second mat. You cut all four sides. As you can see, I'm using my hand to stop my cutter. It's just sitting back here waiting and when it comes it just stops it. And again this one happened to fall right out so I didn't have to use a razor blade. Now I look on the back to see my little mark. Look on the back here and there's my little mark. So that these mats are going to go together exactly how I laid them out. Absolutely perfect. So then I use this tape. This is a double stick tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it on this mat. This is the bottom mat. And what you do here is you just peel this piece of paper off and it leaves the double stick tape on the mat. And this is what you're going to do to attach the two mats so that they stay together. And again, you always want to keep your work table clean and free of debris. You don't want to have a whole bunch of tools and equipment on your work table. Now I'm going to take my top mat and I'm just going to line it up. Your eye will line it up perfectly. You don't have to take a tape measure and then you just bam it like that. And now And now we have the same picture, but matted completely different. This one happens to be a dark mat. So again, we're going to put the little tape, two little pieces of tape on the back of the top. We turn it over, take our mat, position it. Okay, and again, we used a ready-made frame for this. And now you have a piece that looks completely different than the first kitty.